Hey everybody, it is Thursday, so I'm making a video. I'm sorry I didn't make one last week. I just had some really stressful um, couple of weeks or week at work, and things just took a toll on me. So I'm back though, and I'm naked. So this week we're talking about how not to be a recluse. I think it's an important topic, especially relating to transition, because in my personal experience, after I came out and everything like that, even before I came out, actually, I've always been really, really shy and just very, I just isolate myself a lot and I always have and I prefer to be alone, but especially after I came out as trans, I really, cat butt, I really isolated myself, and it's, you know, it's not a healthy thing, and it's not really recommended, but I kind of felt like I had to. Um, I, I sort of felt like I needed to hide, actually, after coming out as trans. And that is not the case. You don't have to hide. I mean, I especially felt this way around family members and people who knew me pre-transition. I kind of just wanted to hide away until I was far along enough in my transition for people to validate my identity. And... You know, going through this process has made me realize that I don't need anyone else to validate my identity except for me, which is something that I'm still working on, but I feel like that kind of contributed to me isolating myself and being reclusive, basically. This isn't something that I've never experienced before. I've always kind of felt the need to isolate myself and sort of wanting to just be by myself and be alone versus in a crowd of people. I hate crowds of people. I hate groups of people. I hate, you know, stuff like that. And I hate, like, social events. I know that sounds bad, but that's just my personality and that is me. So that's not something that kind of developed after I came out as trans or transitioned, really. But I will say that I am now more comfortable with being in groups of people because I now feel more like I'm in the body that I was supposed to be in and I have the identity that I was supposed to have all along. So that's made it easier for me to kind of be in public and be in groups where I don't have to think about people wondering what gender I am or even asking me what gender I am because I have gotten that from people a lot. Especially kids. I don't know why kids feel the need to ask, are you a boy or a girl? But, you know, they, they do. They, they ask me. They're very intuitive in, in that way for some reason. So coming out as trans has basically allowed me to be a little more social. But I don't really like to be that social. So it's not, um, it's just not something that I like. I don't think that I would describe myself as a recluse. I think that I just am more, I'm just good in my comfort zone, and that's, that. I'm good. I'm good. No need to go outside there, because I'm good. But hiding yourself is not something that you should do when you're trans, especially when you're coming out, because the, that's the important time when people will have questions for you, and when you can be helpful and answer their questions and kind of be an educational resource for people. So, you know, not hiding yourself away is a positive thing. Yay. That's really all I have to say about that. But I am going to make a video for my personal channel updating because... Today is my six months post-op. Yay. So if you do subscribe to me, stay tuned for that. If you don't subscribe to me, please subscribe to me. And I will be making a video um, either today or tomorrow about being six months post-op and things like that. Alright, see you next Thursday.